Hello my lovelies and clearly I am a Hamilton obsessed freak. Ugh. Although I don't think I'm a freak. I just, I love, love Hamilton. It's so good. Oh my god. I'm Fallon and this is the Hamilton book tag. If you don't know what Hamilton is, it is a Broadway musical that features all people of color playing all of the roles as the founding fathers of America. And the one white person in the cast is King George from England. And it's a really, really cool rap musical. And all the songs are just so much fun. And the storyline is great. And it's amazing. <laughs> the book tag that follows the songs from the musical, obviously. And so each one has a different meaning. So we're going to go through each one. And I'm going to give you the books. Um, I'm going to not do one of them just because... Spoilers. <laughs> Alright, so the first song is I wanna be in the room where it happens, the room where it happens, the room where it happens. Get me from the room where it happens for the last time. The room where it happens is a world that you would want to go into more than anything else. And I think this is very clear about which book this is for me. And that is The World of Harry Potter. And this is just my favorite book from the series. So, that's a holy up. But Harry Potter is my absolute favorite universe, and I wanted to live in the Harry Potter universe for longer than I can actually remember. I love Harry Potter, and I think everyone does. So, Harry Potter is the room where it happens. And the next song is Angelica, Eliza, and Peggy, the Skylar sisters. And this one is a female character that is vastly underrated. And this is easy because this is one of my all-time favorite trilogies. And this is one of my all-time favorite characters. And people think she's a wet blanket. So, ugh. From the Darkest Powers trilogy, Chloe Saunders, our main character. She's a necromancer and she's kind of terrified of everything in the beginning of the book. But then she becomes the leader of this major society. And she is just a badass bitch. I need to reread this book right now. Oh god, this is an underrated female character. Read this trilogy, please. And bravery, stay alive. Mm. The character you wish was still alive. I haven't read The Inheritance Cycle. This happens in the first book. So read The Inheritance Cycle. You can skip this. I'll put a little annotation or something to skip this one spoilery part in the video. But the character I wish was still alive would be Brom from The Inheritance Cycle. He dies in the very first book. I don't own Aragon in anything for some reason. I don't know why. He dies in the very first book of the series. And I just, I wish that he was still alive in the series because I miss him so much. I feel like we didn't really get enough of him, and I just, I need Brom in every single book. So I wish that he was still alive, because he was, he was a great character. And now, I am not throwing away my shot, I am not throwing away my shot. Yo, I'm just like my country, I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot. And for my shot, it means the character who goes after anything that he wants, or she wants, just to go after it and be that person and for me no one was clearer than Patrick Bateman from American Psycho yes he goes on murderous rampages but he just does what he wants and he doesn't really care what you have to say about it what anyone has to say about it he's crazy and he just goes after what he wants and he's not throwing away his shot to be this crazy person who's over the top and extreme to every single extent Patrick Bateman, great character. I love him. Next song is I Hope That You Burn. It's the end of a relationship that you wanted to be a thing. And this is a really old series, so I feel like this isn't so much of a spoiler. Most people don't want to read it. And I only own the first three books, so I hadn't read the last one, so maybe that's a thing that happens. But in the first three books, the end of Cleavy's relationship in the wolf tower wolf star i'm not sure which book she's in a relationship with this guy who rescues her and then he turns out to be a lying scumbag who has a fiance and i was so upset i was so upset i just wanted them to be happy and they're 
they're not. They weren't happy. She didn't end up with anyone, I don't think. If you haven't read this book, I'm sorry. If you have read the next book, tell me if she ends up with anyone, please. I need to know. And the next book tag is... You'll be back like before. I will fight the fight and win the war. You'll be back. Time will tell. The sassiest villain in a book. And this was so easy. This was, I feel like he wasn't really a villain per se, but he definitely is a villain. I don't know. He's just so sassy that I love him to every single extreme. I mean, I love villains in general, but yeah. Talus from the Scorpion Rules. He's so sassy. Oh my god. I just. I wish I knew him when he was alive because. Oh my god, he's, and he's an AI who is sassy AF. Oh my god, it's <laughs> sassiest villain, definitely. And it's non-stop. Mm. So the book series that you binge read, I've been read most of the series in my personal collection. Harry Potter was the fastest. First time I read it, binge read the entire thing. It was great. So proud of myself. But I decided to do a different series that I've been dread. And it's an older series, very old series. It's older than all of us combined. And that is The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. I've been dread this entire series. It was so good. I absolutely adore these books. They're awesome. And they're all so small that binge reading them, it's easy. You can also tell which ones I've read more because the spines are cracked. But yes. Problems to Narnia, C.S. Lewis, non-stop binge read. You always be satisfied. And this is a book series with multiple points of view. And, or a single book, multiple points of view, your favorite. Um, so I don't have the first book in this series, but I have the fourth one only for some reason, and that is The Heroes of Olympus by Rick Riordan. And all of his books are multiple points of view except for the Magnus Chase series, and I really, really like his books as multiple points of view, particularly the Heroes of Olympus series in general, so The Son of Neptune, and all of these books, really, really good. I definitely thought these were the best ones that had multiple points of views that he's done. So, you'll be satisfied with Rick Riordan's The Heroes of Olympus series. Ooh, I do, I do, I do, I do. Look at you, I'm helpless. And this is a relationship you are rooting for from the start. And for me, this is gonna be so weird, and I'm pretty sure everyone's gonna be like, Girl, what? That wasn't even a thing that existed. But for me, it was totally from A Thousand Pieces of You, Paul and Marguerite. They, I just shipped them from the very beginning. I mean, even when they said we should with Theo and they were trying to hunt him down because they thought he, she murdered his dad, or he murdered her dad, and she would, I just, she talking, describing him, just like, yes, yes, be a thing, please, please, I don't like Theo, be a thing, be a thing, be a thing. And I ship this from the very start. Yep. So happy it became a thing. Hashtag spoilers. You're um, awesome. Wow. Can you tell me what will happen now? Oceans rise. Empires fall. It's much harder when it's all you call. And when push comes to shout what comes next and this is a book series you wish had more books and I know this book series is going to have more books but I'm upset it doesn't have more books right now and also I don't think it's going to have enough books when it's done so this is The Queen of the Tyrion by Erica Johansson I realize Invasion of the Tyrion is out but this is a world that I just want seven books like Harry Potter at the very minimum and I don't know if we're supposed to have them but I, I need them so give me more books Erica Johansson give me more books one is so what did I miss what did I miss 
a book series or book you were very, very late to getting to. And this is an entire author I have been late to the game for, and that was Rainbow Rowell. I just read Fangirl, and I need the rest of her books in this moment in time. She's amazing. I am so late to the game, guys, and I'm so sorry about that, but this is what I've missed. I am sorry. And the very last song from the show, it's a question in this book today, is Who lives, who dies, who tells your story? And that's the book series I was going to live in time forever. I have two for this. Just because one had, I don't know, one is a book series only and the other is a book and movie series. So... The one that is only in the book series, I think, well, I don't know, there's like a lot of books I think are relevant time for a while at this point, but I think that Rick Riordan's Percy Jackson series is something that a lot of us read and thoroughly enjoyed and loved, and I feel like that's a book series that's going to live in time at least for a while, just because you talk to someone and they know this series, and so I feel like that's a book series that's going to live for a long time. Uh, I mean, of course, you have something like... George R. R. Martin's Game of Thrones, which is going to live for a long time. But we all know the real book series of our generation is the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling. And this book series was everything to all of us growing up. And that's no, like, <laughs> this is it. This is it for books. If I could only have one book series, it would be the Harry Potter series because I would get something new out of it every single time. And this will be the legacy of our generation. I am 100% certain Harry Potter is going to have that title. And I feel like most of us who've done this tag, most people who've seen this tag, have seen Harry Potter as the last book everyone, everyone says. And it's for good reason. This series is going to go on for all of eternity. Hamilton book tag and if you would like to do this tag go ahead and do it if you want to see the original creator of this tag I will link her in the really do down below and um, if there are any books in this that you would like to talk to me about let's make a conversation down in that comment section go go girl go or guy I don't know I call everyone girl don't take it personally girl but you enjoyed this Hamilton book tag and I think that's it for me today. Yeah. So as always, I'm Fallon. If you like this book, you can go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see any of my personal information, you can down the doobly-doo there next week. So thanks for hanging out with me.